A great leader doesn't just educate people. A great leader makes great leaders, right? And Julian was a great leader. He, he, he trained other people who went on at other institutions and became great leaders. Almost like Julian was the gardener fertilizing and I got to be the plant that that grew in his garden. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, he's published a lot of important papers, but I think that his biggest contribution is that there's a whole cadre of his trainees and then their trainees that are kind of now all over the world improving what we know about lung disease and improving the life of patients. And he's somebody who's been paying it forward for years. I mean, that's just a great phrase for Julian. He just pays it forward. By working so hard on those proposals with me, he was getting nothing out of that. It wasn't money coming to the University of Chicago. It was money coming to Tulane University and just more my career. I don't think most people would have done that. You just can't say that about a lot of people. Julian was there for everybody who walked through his door. People are in it for all different kinds of reasons, right? Fame, prestige, money. It's none of those things with Julian. He's, he's curious about things and he, he wants to train people about uh, how to improve the health of, of people. He's a really giving, loving person and uh, tried to help everybody. Even when I would say, but Julian, that has nothing to do with the grant. Yeah, but they need help. I'm sure we could figure out a way. And that's what I mean by he was able to figure out ways of connecting people in ways that the rest of us were sometimes dumbfounded, but always scrambling to help him because, again, he had this beautiful vision. And you just, I don't know how anyone didn't buy into it. It was just perfect. You know, if you know Julian's going to be coming to your office in a few minutes, it's kind of like, oh, well, I can't wait for him to get here. I just can't help but smile when I think about Julian. When Julian is in the room, good things are gonna happen. Not only is he curious, but he also can see where all these disparate pieces belong together. The lessons that I learned from Julian, that it is so important that people should know how to talk across disciplines. And he made it fun, as I learned as well. So that was also really important. But he really taught me the business of science. They also talk about not just mentorship, but then the people who are your champions and then those people who are your sponsors. Julian's all of those, just wrapped up in one and just really is supportive of everybody and is just does it in such a egalitarian and beautiful way. He really embedded in me embracing new technologies of how you did your research was at the root of being successful. And I would say, just as a scientist, it's among the most important things I learned from him. And he has done that his entire career. But just following following your instincts and um, working through it is probably one of the most important lessons I learned from him. Grantmanship, there is no better mentor in the entire universe. And I don't say the entire world, I said the entire universe int intentionally. He's probably the best writer I've ever known. He was an incredible partner. The way he treated people, you would never know if he was talking to a trainee or the dean. He treated everyone really respectfully. It was very clear that he was not a one-trick pony and that his job, what he was passionate about, he loved it, he worked exceedingly hard. But he never forgot that life has balance. And uh, I would say that's probably a better life lesson. And I don't know that he ever sat down and told me that, but you could just see, it. you know, if Julian always has time to referee his kid's soccer, then it's no excuse for me to say, I don't have time to do anything but work, right? So he's multi-talented, right? I mean, he, as much a musician as he is a scientist, as he is a clinician, as he is a, you know, a spouse and a grandfather and a father. So um, he's just multi-talented and, multi-dimensional in that way and then of course you know his music so fun to see this absolutely other side of him number of times we we're at the lab over we his house and he would get on the piano and just start playing and we would sing and we'd be doing Beatles songs and he'd always tell me oh no your voice is great and i'm like julian now you're just live <laughs> okay and he he makes up a song about cytokines and before you know it he's got Everybody in the room is singing. I don't remember any of the science from that meeting, but I'm sure everyone who was there 
remember Julian playing a song about cytokines. Most of us, you know, re re regress to the mean, and Julian never regressed to the mean. And he, he understands why he's kind of on this earth, and he's, he, he fulfilled, I think, everything he possibly could have done.